What's up, Terry Tots? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're a new one. It's your girl, Tati, back at it for another video. In this video, I create this cute popping look that's inspired by using makeup artist tricks. I've been watching a lot of makeup artists because I want to start doing makeup. And I've been putting their tips together. So this is the beat that I got from that. Tell me if you like this beat more, if you prefer my old beat, or if you even see a difference, or if it looks like, girl you been doing this so go ahead do that like this video before it even starts and let's get in to it so i'm gonna go in with the essence of spray and i like to use the essence or a toner because i find that it helps Everything soak into my skin a lot better and I use a lot less and it's absorbs better when I use either a toner or an essence on top. If you're going to be putting makeup on their chest or makeup on their neck, you want to prep everything similarly. You might use bigger products instead of using a little towel like this, you actually use a wipe or something. But you want to use um you know you want to make sure you prep everything. Now that you've let that sit for a little bit, you're gonna go in with moisturizer. And for moisturizer, I guess I can sort of use a brush. Um, I don't really like using brushes, but I will. I'm going in with the NYX Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. It matches the, um, the eye cream I use. And I really like the NYX Hydro Boost line. I like using gels because I have oilier skin. I'm like normal to oily skin um, skin type, so I feel like gels do a lot better than like using my city fill cream, which I like to use on my no makeup days or on my body because my body's a lot more dry. I'm going into prime now that I've done my face, and I usually use two primers, but right now I'm gonna start with one and see how I feel. I'm gonna use the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser because this just it makes my skin feel so good. Um, when I use it, I think that my makeup applies very smoothly with it. And I noticed when I was watching, like I said, when I watch, um, a lot of makeup artists that they use brushes. They don't really use their hands too much when working on people's face. So, I'm also doing my eye primer. I'm using my NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna take this. No, I'm not gonna take that brush. I'm gonna take my finger. I would use that same brush. But I might use that brush for my foundation, so I really don't want this on it. And while that's sitting, I'm going to go in with my foundation. Something that I noticed with makeup artists and foundation is that they use two different colors sometimes. They actually use a layer, like they layer up on the different colors. So I'm going to start with a half a pump of my um, CoverGirl Matte, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the color D80. And... I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, so I'm gonna go in with another half a pump just to give me a little more coverage, not too much. Actually, I didn't even go in with a half a pump. If you can see that, I went in with just a little bit. I'm gonna scooch y'all in some just because I want y'all to be able to see um, my actual face at this point. So I'm gonna scooch y'all in just a little bit. For the center of my face, I'm going to go in with, got to shake this well. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in color 2, in color 520. So, in the center of my face, I'm going to take um, shade 520 in the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, which is Sienna. And I'll use a full pump, but I still have half the pump on my hand because that's a lot so I'm gonna go in with my sponge from AOA Studios this is the pawpaw sponge that they got for um what is it called um it goes to charity a certain percentage goes to charity so it was it's a little lighter but I think that we have that dimension that I kind of want to create just to blend back and forth because I noticed that a lot of people do that as well and take a little bit more y'all can see the tiniest amount of D80 and I'm gonna put that, stipple that. I'm gonna take this really fluffy brush. This is actually a highlighting brush. It's an AOA Studios F119 um, brush. It's really fluffy, really nice and fluffy. I'm gonna use that to apply this concealer. And I'm gonna put that on my face next. And this is the MAC, 
This is the MAC Longwear um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45 because that is my highlight shade. I'm slowly but surely adding concealer on. So I'm not starting off with a lot. I'm starting off with just a little bit and I'm adding more as needed because sometimes you apply so much that you, um, you apply way more than you need, especially when you're starting off. And also what I've just noticed about makeup artists is that they, they really take their time and pile on a lot of different colors and add just a lot of different layers to the makeup so that it comes out as flawless as possible and it doesn't come out as cakey. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flat, this is an e.l.f. blush brush, y'all know how I use this, and you're gonna pat it into your concealer and you're gonna tap it off and then you're gonna set your concealer. I'm not gonna set my eyelids. I usually do, but I heard it's a makeup artist trick not to, so I'm gonna try not to for this video. Now different makeup artists have different techniques. So I'm just blending together like some common ones that I'm noticing with makeup artists. So first they set their face. And then after they set the face, what is next? They go in to do their contour. I'm going with my lighter powder first. It's more of a skin tone shade that I use as a bronzer because it's a little, you know, reddish. I'm going to go over those areas that I usually go over. And I'm going to take a nice, big, fluffy brush. And for now, this is the most that we're going to do until we start doing other things. So I'm going to I'll pat that in. You still have like some of the lightness. You have to go to your... I'll be trying not to make my edges brown, but y'all know I have brown edges. I'm just a brown edges girl, okay? Just happens. But I'm trying not to do that so much. So I'm gonna hold my edges and not go too far into them. And then while I'm waiting, cause I'm gonna do my eyes next. I'm gonna use a different powder for my eyes. To, to bake. I like to use a darker powder because I the Laura Mercier, while I love it it's a little bright, especially for summertime, so I like to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in Dark. This is in 40. And now we're gonna do eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow we're gonna come in some. So you can see my face more. You can see what we're doing, what's going on under the eyes. For this makeup look, I'm gonna go in and use an oldie but goodie. And this is the Rosé in the Air palette. It's a Wedding Wild palette. It's the new, you know, eye, eye palettes like this. I'm going to start with a nice, hold on, nice big fluffy brush like this. This is the AOA Studios brush, AOA Studio E127 brush. And I'm going to go into, I'm going to start off with this shade. And I know it's pretty light to be a transition shade, but I don't want to start off too dark. And before I go in like that, I'm just gonna try to wipe off all these creases. I'm gonna take the E130 brush from AOA Studios as well, and I'm gonna go into this orange shade right here. I'm gonna put that right there on the outer corner. And so boom, you don't look like you're doing much, but you're just slowly but surely building that color up, building things to go how you want them to go. So next, we're going to take the E128 brush. It's a little pointy brush, and we're gonna go into the deeper shade right here of orange. 
And we're gonna add that. And then lastly, we're gonna add a brown. And now we're gonna make it a little bit more intense. And we're going to take a brush I have not used in a long time. This is a Morphe brush. Well, I have used it, but I don't think I've used it in this way. I don't know. This is a little short Morphe brush. It's just a pencil brush. I'm gonna take that brown in the palette. And this is where we start making things a little more sharp. And I'll just notice that makeup artists, they start, they do a lot of what I do and like start all the way up here. They bring, they blow this smug out, okay? I noticed that blowed out looks, blown out looks are the wave. So you want to make sure that while you're doing this, you're blowing it out into your eyebrow almost. A lot of makeup artists I'm noticing are doing that. I'm gonna use two different brushes for this because I'm not going back with concealer to go over my eyelid. It's just not happening. I'm a little lazy. So what I'm gonna do is take this BH Cosmetics brush I got in the palette a long time ago. It's the Smoky Palette. It's a pointed, it is a pointed brush. And I'm going to take that. And I like it because it's angled so you can do like this. And you can really kind of shade that part in without taking a, um, what is it called? What are they called? A short shader brush. And then for the lid, I'm just gonna take a regular old regular brush. This is a Cayman and Morphe set as well. Just gonna hide. Cayman and Morphe set as well. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here to start off with. I'm gonna put that on my lid. And I'm gonna tap some off because these are a little dusty. So if you can see, I'm kind of going on my eyelid. And this is one thing that I've noticed about makeup artists. They don't do that. They really bring that color up. They've really been doing this. Which y'all know I used to do this and I do this sometimes. But I feel like I'm getting out of this. But a lot of them bring that color up. And they don't, like, they bring it up high, y'all. Next, we're going to go in with a skin tone powder. Which, for me, is the Sephora Micro Smooth and Ebony. I'm going to wipe it off. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to get the MAC one. Because the Sephora one doesn't go as dark as I would like. This next part is like the bronzing and the contouring put together. So I'm gonna go back and bronze some contour some of my forehead because it kind of made her a little too big when I put the powder on. Now, next we're gonna put on blush. So I'm gonna go into B, which is this mauve little pink color, and I'm gonna do it right here. I was watching Naomi Campbell and she does the same thing with like putting blush right there. And I'm gonna take a little bit of of Zane, so I'm mixing my Juvia's Place palettes. If you don't stay in Juvia's Place, I completely understand why. I'm not gonna tell you. Like, if you be like, Tati, you shouldn't be using that. I understand why you feel like that. These are just the blush palettes that I really like. Okay? So, if you find some new blush palettes that are, like, affordable and black-owned, please tell me. Now I'm going to contour. And the tip that I got is to stay right here. Don't bring your contour out further than that. Pretty, pretty effect. And then for my forehead, I feel comfortable with going in with the bigger brush, which is the AOL, AOL Studio F. 13 brush, which is from Shop Miss A, and patting it, and you know, taking that bigger space up, which is still a small brush. I still use a pretty, you know, small brush, smaller than most powder brushes I use for my face, 
because I just don't like my contour to get too out of hand. And I'm gonna take the lighter shade that we use to bronze to contour my nose. For my brows today, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. brow palette in dark. I'm gonna use the pomade side, and I'm gonna just do this. First thing I'm gonna do is zoom you all in so that you can see what's going on in my face. Now we're about to go into highlight, but for highlight, I'm gonna use an oldie but goodie that I haven't used in a while as well. And that is, I'm using a lot of oldies. I'm using my e.l.f. palette. Um, Wet and Wild, and I'm going with my Wet and Wild palette, my Wet and Wild Mega Glow, and what color is this? Crown My Canopy. I love this highlighter. And y'all, we almost done with this look, okay? So, we gonna do our lips. So, y'all not talk a lot. We just need to get on with this combo. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Co Eyeliner that y'all know I use for almost everything, and this is in Cinema Brown. And um, now we're gonna add this True Matte um, Broadway True Matte Lipstick in Sparkling Stone. Here you go. Um, this is the final look. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and share so we can grow this potato family, please. And you know what you gotta do too. You need to subscribe so you can join this potato family and grow with your girl Ill, Ill, and grow with your girl Ill, Ill, and grow with your pop, pop. This is like the third little beat I made up in here, but okay. Peace out. You know you want to watch another video, so go ahead and do that.